Here's a question I received more than once and figured it was time to make a video. The individuals wanted to know if a landing was the same as a set of winders. So if a winder or a set of steps that was on a landing um, was actually a landing. And the answer to that question is no. A landing is going to be a flat surface without any steps in it. And usually going to be the width and the depth of the stairway is going to be the same. So uh, 36 inches is the minimum um, width for a residential stairway. And uh, the depth, of course, would be 36 inches. Now, if the stairway is 40 inches wide, the depth is supposed to be 40 inches wide also, even though that is not something that um, I came across very often when building stairs. There were plenty of stairways I built that were 42 inches wide and had a 36 inch deep landing. So keep that in mind. And uh, keep in mind that the final interpretation for all of these um, building codes, even your questions, will be up to your local building department and not people like me who make videos. So um, you know, that seems to be a big problem. I know a lot of people don't, uh, they want to be viewed as an authority on something. And uh, you can be, that's great. You can know what you're talking about. I can provide you with information from the building code books, which is what I'm doing. But uh, it's going to be up to your local building department. If they say you that a set of winders is a landing and you can do what you want uh, for whatever reason, then that is going to be up to them. And uh, and always get your, if you do get any information like that, um, get it in writing and have the individual sign it. And that's usually going to be your first sign that uh, how willing they are to commit to their interpretations of the um, building code. So if you say, hey, is this, is a, is this a landing here? And they say, uh, no. You know, it's going to have to be wider. Say, well, I have somebody else tell me that that, that it it can be, you know, um, get their signature, get the other person's signature. And but if you don't have a signature, you don't have anything in writing. Um, trust me on this one. You are not going to have people. You're going to go into the office and and say, well, you're the one who told me that I could do this. And they're just going to deny it. So human nature, I guess, to protect ourselves. So a landing, you can have a landing that that. Um, uh, steps up to another landing, something like this, of course. And then a floor is going to be considered a landing uh, sometimes, the bottom floor and the top floor, depending upon the interpretation. Our first set of winders here, and again, these are steps, one step, two step, three steps. They are not going to be considered a flat surface or a landing. And of course, a set of winders is usually going to be three steps, something like this. And again, not a landing. But I kind of wanted to point out and just kind of throw out some different examples. You can have a stairway that comes up to a landing that would be part of the floor. Again, the entire area could be connected together and considered the upper floor or an upper landing. So this could be an upper landing and this could be a lower landing. This could be considered a landing too. So it just has to have the minimum, meet the minimum requirements that are required. And some public stairways are going to need to be 44 inches as the minimum width and depth on their landings. Another view here would be the entire floor, of course, as a landing without a um, separate section there that would be connecting to the floor. Something else that could be interpreted by a, your local building department as a step instead of a landing would be something like this. Um, you know, if you look at it, you kind of come down. But this, this is something I would interpret as a landing myself because it would be um, longer than three foot by three foot, which would uh, be the minimum requirements we talked about for a landing. In this example, I made the landing a little larger. And the reason why I did that was to point out the fact that some people are going to interpret a large landing as a floor. And that's fine because the building code books uh, refer to landings in the same way you would refer to as a floor. So uh, the landing up here, you can actually refer to this. Hey, wait a minute. This is another floor. Fine. Knock yourself out. So don't be confused if your 
building department officials refer to the lower floor as a landing and the upper floor as a landing instead of the lower and upper floors. I think I would uh, do it as a, you know, um, lower floor, upper floor, landing, landing. But, you know, this, this really does change. You get a stairway that comes down and you have a, it, it dumps into a living room, let's say, and the living room is a raised floor, something like this, except it's um, 15 feet by 15 foot wide. And then you step down into other areas of the house. Um, hey, you're still going back to the same thing. It's flat, a flat surface. There's no winder steps in it. Um, and of course, it is larger than the minimum requirements for a landing. So I hope this helps. If it does, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button. And don't forget to check out some of our books. We have books on um, how to build winder stairways. If you're looking for more information, visit the website. And we have uh, plenty of other books you can check out that might be helpful for your, for your next stair building project.